Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inkas and I'm from IJS Electronics and today we're going to be making our third video of a Parker AC10 drive. We're going to be setting up the drive today in remote control using a up-down uh, speed control, up-down button speed control and we're also going to be checking out how to set a drive, uh, drive motor frequency uh, setup. So uh, we're going to be checking that out as well. If you missed the last two videos where we commissioned the drive, run the drive in two, wire, two, two three wire controls. Do check out for those videos in the description below. Also, the manuals is going to be there and any other related videos that I believe would benefit you in a possible way, that will be in the description below. So do check it out. So without further ado, let's get started. Here we are. So first station is in for this video. So this is what it's going to look like. We're going to have a run forward, run reverse, and we're also going to be using the speed up button, and we're also going to be using a speed down button. And uh, wiring, so let's have a look at the wiring. Wiring is pretty much, if you watched the last videos, not much has changed. We just had some extra assignments to our thingy. There's a cable hanging around. So um, here we go. So uh, we have normally close contact as a, again as, a, as our uh, semi e stop, a 24 volt signal coming to a uh, normal close contact, and then sort of comes out and distributes the power to all the buttons in the bottom in here. And digital input one run forward, digital input two run reverse, uh, digital input three uh, yeah, speed go up, and digital input four speed go down. So that's pretty much how the wiring works, quite straightforward, right? So uh, regarding setup itself, we need to make some changes. The first change we need to do, we need to tell where to read the frequency from. So uh, let's go in a minute. So the first one we need to make sure is um, our frequency source, as you can see in here, is selected to digital setting memory, which is zero. So that pretty much will uh, tell the drive, uh oh, I need to read the frequency from the, look, I need to look for frequency from the buttons. So uh, the next one we are going to be uh, looking at is 208. Remember in 208 is where we are choosing to control our drive differently from default. So we are choosing that to 1 and that will be our 2 hour control. So the next one we are going to be jumping on to uh, 211. So default is 5. 5. Like that. And that pretty much determines the sensitivity of your buttons up and down. The higher the number, the quicker the speed will go up. And the lower the number, the slower the speed will come up and down. So uh, that pretty much determines your speed of, of our called the sensitivity of your buttons, up and down buttons. We're going to play that in a minute. So and the next one up is going to be a uh, well. That's all the setup regarding when it comes down to a main. So now we need to go for digital inputs. And we need to ass oh, assign. As you can see, my 16 is uh, 15. Then digital input 1 will be 15. Uh, digital input 2 is 16. Digital input 3 is going to be 13, which is uh, speed up. As you remember from the previous video, we already looked at guys. If you haven't seen the last video, do check it out. We already looked at all these things. So you can see down here, my up and down is 13 and 14. So digital input that for 13. And, oh, we over uh, jumped. And a 19, as you can see for the digital before, it's 14. And that way the speed will go up and down. So uh, that's all you really need to do. If I hopefully I haven't forgot anything. Yes, that's all you really need to do to get uh, this uh, station really working. So let me put my cover on and I'll show you how that works. So the cover is on. So this is what it's going to look like once it's on. So activating the speed. You can see it running, and as you can see, by holding the button, I am running up the speed. Pretty much the same thing you would do with these buttons on here, now you can do it remotely. You can see I'm holding quite a bit. So there we are, gonna hold and quite a bit, come down. So, and the same thing, you can see it can do for reverse. So let me show you quickly what happens when you change the uh, uh, 211. So we we'll change that one, then that one, and then go down to 11. And we go ding, ding. And gonna go up, let's say go up to about 20. So why not? So enter that one. So let's put it on now, so. So, watch how quick it goes. See how quick it went down. 
and how well you how much you want those buttons to be sensitive is set in that 211 and that ladies and gentlemen is how you get your a uh, uh, MO, I call MOP control or up down speed uh, button speed control. So that will uh, be uh, good enough for a uh, this uh, station. Let's jump on how to set up the multi frequency. Here we are. So our multi speed station is being wired in. So uh, the station is going to look uh, more or less like that. But of course, there could be a lot more going on with these switches as we progress with this uh, demonstration in a minute. We're going to have a run signal, which you're always going to have to have a run for any speed to work. You have to have a run. So, and then you can select what speeds you're going to be working on. So, before we get into documentation, let's uh, go through the actual uh, wiring. If I can remove it. So, uh, so we're going to wiring as usual previously. We have our e-stop, uh, 24 volt uh, coming to it, and then it comes to out and then it sends the power to all the switches. Digital input is going to be our run signal, which is our run forward. And uh, the, then we're going to have a, a digital input 2, it's going to be a speed uh, 1 selection. And then, we're, then it's going to be digital input 3, it's going to be a speed 2 selection. And a uh, digital input 4 is going to be a speed 3 selection. You still have a one more digital input left if you want to add anything else for it. So uh, you can actually have that for the direction change things lab, but I'm going to show you in a minute about the directions. So before we get started, uh, before we can even get going, we need to change our frequency source again, and we need to change that one to stage speed control. And that is in uh, obviously in our uh, F203, and that is selected to 4. We do need to make sure that is the case. I still keep my 208 so at 1, so uh, oh, wrong button again. Uh, 208 again, still staying at 2 I control. No macros I use, I keep clicking the wrong button. And uh, from there on, we need to go to a uh, uh, we click that one to back to our digital input uh, assignment again. So uh, then we're going to do that, and then we're going to go to first one going to be so it's 16 stays the same, which so the digital input stays the same as forward run. And uh, 17 is this is where we are start uh, took our reverse uh, signal off, and we start adding our speeds. And there is a lot. You can have what is this? Uh, 15. I think it's 15 speeds if you wish to have it. So you can assign, as you can see, the multi-speed stage, speed 1, 2, and 3, and 4. It doesn't necessarily say it's a speed 1, 2, and 3, 4. It's basically, I would call that as a bit, okay? Any combination of these numbers will be giving you some form of a speed. So pretty much you assign to all the inputs you wish to use. If you want to use only two, 1 and 2 speed selection, you can have 3 speeds with it with uh, just three buttons which we have we can have seven speeds if you want to but if you want 15 we add another one if we wish to to any of the digital inputs so hopefully that makes sense to you so we have assigned obviously three buttons to a uh, 17 as you can see three four and five so that's pretty much uh, determines our a uh, uh, multi a uh, uh, where are uh, these all these three buttons in here, which is basically our selections where these three bits are called uh, bits We're going to be uh, using it. So to really understand how that works if you look at this graph in here, which uh, Parker has put in a manual as You can see everywhere you see the ones and noughts that ones will be a selection of that speed So let's say the speed zero it needs to have a k4 k uh, 4 3 2 and 1 basically they need to be off for the speed 2 to work, K1, which is our, which is our first assignment, it needs to be on. So and that's the way we're going to have our speed 1, and sort of, uh, and then speed 2, and then to, to, as, as I said today, if you want to have speed uh, uh, well, uh, the, in this stage, the nils are speed 1. So, uh, so, so those two combinations in here will be your speed 4. So if you look at it, and, and then you should keep going on and on and on and on. But another cool thing is what they have done, they have in here pretty much it shows you where you can set all your speeds up. So starting from F504, you can have all the way to F18, you can have all your speeds selected. Whatever the frequency you want to put in there, they have added all of them in there already for you. 
So, uh, and then another thing you can have, let's go a bit higher down here. You can have in here acceleration time setting for the speed from stage one to stage 50. You can have your own acceleration, deacceleration for each, uh, each speed. Plus, you can actually have a, its own uh, running a direction. Which is, wow, never seen it before, but that is cool, I like it. So uh, they've done, uh, this is uh, like from stage 8 and then there's a from stage 15. So yeah, so uh, gives you a nice uh, options in there, what you can uh, do with it. So hopefully that makes uh, makes uh, a, uh, a sense to you and, uh, and how to get it going. So as you can see, it's already flashing 5 on here. So that pretty much says my speed zero is being is, uh, selected. It doesn't show what number it is, what speed is, uh, frequency it is, but it shows you that the first uh, speed, as the as the, how the buttons are as default, you as soon as you click run, it will be a five frequency. So let me put the cover on, and I will show you how that works. Well, here we go. So effectively, you your run signal could be classed as your uh, first speed if you wish to, and you can preset that one. But if you want to say, well, I need some certain speed. So once you click the switch, so you can see the dial changed. So it says that, that the selection you have made, it will be, you can name whatever you want in here, whatever. So I just put speed one, speed two, and speed three. So just to give you a certain idea and uh, give me a better understanding of uh, where the buttons are going. So once I select that one, I can see what a speed it is. And if I want to run it, all I need to do is put it in a run mode. As you can see, my acceleration is quite slow. So, so once I take it off, yeah. So uh, it goes back to showing your screen what it is. So let's say what this is going to be. This, these two buttons in here is going to give me a uh, frequency 20. That's going to give me frequency 40. That's going to give me 30, 25, ugh, and pretty much so on. And then you, when you're ready, you can put it in a uh, run mode and it will be on his way. And that's pretty much how would this uh, multi-frequency station would work. It gives you a good idea what is going on with your button. Select what you want and bang it on. And that is it and, and that's how your frequency would work. And obviously you can, uh, each frequency you can uh, set up, a, well you, you kind of, I think you need, yeah you need to set up its own acceleration, the acceleration time for whatever the multi-frequency uh, setting you are using and remember you can have up to well effectively I think is 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 a 16 speeds if you wish to have it does that work out 16 so yeah and all the values as you can see in here is all, all predefined in here already no or some uh, some drives leave them on the zeros but it looks like this, this these guys just put them in uh, just randomly just to give you some option in here and obviously it is the setting range is determined by minimum and maximum as well so that ladies and gentlemen how is the multi-frequency control works it's quite straightforward and hopefully all of this makes sense to you and uh, this will conclude this drive and uh, of course there's a lot more that should be uh, needs to be covered in it and then uh, possibly we might look into the future but there's ton more that you can do with it so uh, but that for the basic uh, functionality and uh, uh, most common applications i feel that people are using these drives for are uh, pretty much what uh, is covered so on that ladies and gentlemen so if you like the video please smash that like subscribe and uh, comment below any questions and things like that i do will answer them as soon as i can and as accurate as I can of course as well so on that ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video